It's week three in the Premier League. And an early Saturday start at the Vitality Stadium. And on 12 minutes, a wonder strike by Bournemouth's left back, Charlie Daniels, from 30 plus yards. And Bournemouth are one up against Man City. It didn't seem to fluster City, as Yeus equalised on 22 minutes after an exquisite pass from Silva. So 1 1. The game was easy on the eye with City's new signing, Mendy, looking classy. The half-time break came with City dominating possession. However, Bournemouth were competing and nearly took the lead on the hour when King hit a post. As we moved into added time, it was City chasing the win, with Bournemouth still offering a threat on the counter. A draw looked a fair point for the Cherries, and then a swift interplay of passes gave Sterling an opportunity and he spooned the ball over Begovic's goal and City had snatched the win. Sterling sprinted to City supporters in joy and the crowd erupted, causing problems for the steward. Next second, Dean brandishing a second yellow and Sterling is sent off for an excessive celebration, whatever the hell that is. So to the other Manchester club. United were at home against Leicester and predictably United had most of the possession without testing Schmeichel in the early stages. After the break, United were awarded a harsh penalty which Schmeichel saved from Lukaku. However, shortly after Jose brought on Rashford for Mata, within minutes he was left unmarked in the penalty box and scored from a corner the goal he should have done better. Two more substitutes from Jose and a rather fortuitous second goal from one of them, Fellaini, who looked offside, left United at the top of the tree as we go into the international break. At St James's Park, Newcastle finally got a win to send the Geordies home happy. 1-0 at the break, they added two more in the second half to coast to victory. West Ham, well, the pressure's now on for Billage. They have a fortnight, fortnight to sort out the leaky defence and get more ball to Hernandez, who hardly had a touch. Palace entertained Swansea, both looking for their first win of the season. A goal either side of half-time gave the Swans a victory. Palace was so inept. With Sahar injured and Benteke feeding on scraps, neither side would get my season ticket cash and I can see both involved in a relegation fight. At Vicarage Road, Watford, buoyant after yielding four points out of six, entertained pointless Brighton and their over-exuberance led to an early red card when Bretash launched himself kamikaze style at a Brighton player. This put Watford on the back foot and Brighton with Knockard, Championship Player of the Year last season, looking sharp, they should have got all three points. But they had to settle for a goalless draw. Huddersfield continued to impress at home to Southampton and the crowd continued to create a lot of noise which must be inspiring for their players. However, both attacks lack that killer punch, and so again it ended nil-nil. Huddersfield, seven points out of nine. Wagner is very satisfied. So on to Sunday. The champions were back at Stamford Bridge, and Fabregas was also starting after his one-match suspension. Everton playing their third game in a week and it showed. William was causing havoc and a clever interplay of passes enabled Fa Fabregas to open the scoring and Morata doubled the lead before the break. Chelsea should have had more after the break but Everton knuckled down in defence. Rooney became more and more frustrated as the game slipped away from Ed Everton. And certainly Chelsea are looking champions again. 
West Brom and Stoke at the Hawthorne shared the spoils, one each. Albion won up on the hour, and then Hughes threw on Crouch, and typically he got the equaliser on 77 minutes. Both sides strong defensively, and both will trouble the clubs pushing for honours. And so to Anfield. Liverpool buoyant by their emphatic win against Hoffenheim in the Champions League, continued where they left off, blowing Arsenal away in the first half with two well-taken goals by Fermani and Mane. After half-time, Liverpool continued to show their class, with Salah showing great composure to slot a third, and Sturridge completed the route with a neat white header. As for Arsenal, well, the midfield kept on going AWOL. When they lost possession, Ramsey and Ozil stood out for their lack of fight, and poor Sanchez looked as if he had already left for better pastures. The knives will be out for Wenger. Played at the same time with Spurs at home to Burnley. Well, after a bland first half, Spurs again on top opened the scoring from Alley just after the interval, but failed to convert another. And Burnley, showing a never-say-die attitude, got their reward with a late equaliser from their new signing, Chris Wood. Thoroughly deserved point for Sean Dyche and Burnley. And they have four points on the road already. So that's the wrap-up from week three. Man United at the top with three wins out of three. We now head into the international break. See you in two weeks.